Forza Motorsport's second update released just yesterday. Has it changed the game? Has it sorted all of the major issues that people of the community are crying out that this game has? We'll be touching on that along with going through the full changelog as we now have the full release notes which has everything that was fixed and changed within the update. Now there are actually some things that aren't on the changelog that we have noticed has been added to the game. So I guess you could call them hidden features. So start off over on Twitter we have the the usual tweet from Forza Support. They post the graphic that has all of the information about the update, new content. We've already covered this in my video last week. It's the bugs, fixes and improvements that everybody's praying is a game changer. Now the issue is in these release notes and on this changelog they have not individually listed everything that they've fixed despite them last week saying that there are over 200 bugs and fixes and improvements within this update we don't have a list of them. We can see in the stability section they have just generalized them all into one uh, one line I guess many fixes to improve overall game stability and reduce crashes. So this one line will actually account for several fixes and changes out of the 200, if that makes sense. If we swap over to livery editor, we can see there's a lot more in this one, but at the bottom, it does say various other livery editor issues addressed. And again, the various other will account for several things that they're just not actually listing. So lots more than just this would have been fixed. I guess we're going to have to just play and find out what they are. You'll notice the things that have been listed, they have this little code attached to them. Now, if you go to the forums, you can actually search for this code and you may actually find the individual post on the forums that this is applying to. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, by the way. We now cover Forza Motorsport and Forza Horizon 5, everything to do with Forza, all on this channel. Onto the PC category, there's quite a few categories, in, as you can imagine. Again, there's a few things and then a categorized various other PC issues addressed. You'll notice that every category has that at the bottom, various other things addressed. They are investigating an issue on PC that they have felt they need to note, so that is probably quite significant if they felt the need to note it. Multiplayer, there's a lot more on this one. Again, various other multiplayer issues addressed. We don't know what they are. Gameplay, there's a lot more here. Fixed issues related to loss of progression or save data. I think that's a big one. I think quite a few people were having issues with saving and stuff like that. So hopefully that sorted it. Cars, again, various other cars. That's everything there. Accessibility, the same. Wheels, the same. And at the bottom, we actually have other categories. Various other issues across the game have been addressed. So this full change log is everything that we're going to get. It's not going to get any more detailed than this, unfortunately. Now, the big question is, has it changed anything? Has update two finally made the game a lot more stable for the majority of people that were having huge unplayable issues almost? It seems like the community is having a mixed opinion. Now, before we look at the community's response and everything that's been found with the update, put in the comment section below your experience with the update so far. Has it improved Forza Motorsport for you or made it worse or done nothing? One of the main things that people were praying would be fixed is aero wash. Now, if you don't know what aero wash is, it's where if you are following a car really close behind and you're, let's say you're going around a high speed corner, there's usually a bit of dirty air for the car behind. They might not have as much grip as the car in front because the car in front is producing dirty air. Now, there's supposedly a bit of an issue in Forza Motorsport where the car in front gets a bit of loss of traction when that shouldn't really be the case. That's what's being called aero wash and it was supposedly fixed. Now I'm seeing some people say it hasn't been fixed, some people say it has been fixed. This guy on Twitter actually posted a video after the update showing aero wash happening. So has it been fixed? The evidence is there to say it has been improved but it does seem like some people are still having that issue. We've got some comments saying solid, the update has ran smoothly, performance seems so much better, stable running on PC, no issues. We have some people that have mixed feelings, performance is just the same, still stuttering, still issues, but there are benefits, there are things that people have noticed that has been improved. Nick put out on Twitter, Forza Motorsport Update 2 came out yesterday, they didn't fix any of the broken cars, but they did patch AFK leveling. Now, obviously you could AFK 
level up your cars by just using all the accessibility settings you can no longer do this anymore because i've not tested it myself but looking at nick's screenshot i can presume that after a certain amount of time the game will force you to press a key to continue playing so you can't really afk anymore they have fixed some broken stuff but it seems like there's still some stuff left unfortunately i did find more tweets complaining than i did about praising the update the game won't launch, PC struggling, saving not happening again. Now on the GT Planet forums, which we go on quite often, there's been a few comments from a few members that, that Drivatar liveries are now sort of on the AI cars in free play. Now from what I could see, that was not on the release notes. That was probably one of the things that was hidden in the generalized other things have been fixed. And lot, everyone's agreeing that Driver Tower's cars are now a lot more varied with the liveries and stuff like that in free play. So that is, I guess you could say, as Kelpie says, an undocumented change. It's not on the change log, it wasn't mentioned, but it is something that's definitely been noticed by the community. Driver Tower's in free play now have better liveries and better variations of it. So I guess that's good. So all in all, the update has mixed reviews. I think it is a good step forward. I would say there's probably more people happy with the update than unhappy. This update and the next update are the most important updates at the beginning of the lifespan. The game has to be stable soon at least otherwise it's going to be too late and loads of people are just going to have lost heart for it i'm interested if any of you guys have already lost heart for the game because it was having so many issues and you're just not motivated to get back on it that's why i think these next couple of updates are really important which is, again is why we should be using the troubleshooting hub update two seems like a step forward now quickly talking about leaks, if you follow my Forza Horizon 5 things you'll know that we do talk about leaks, stuff that's been found in the files. Now I will cover that type of stuff if anything comes up for this game. There's nothing leak related to talk about for Forza Motorsport yet, apart from I guess if you want to be a bit of a stretch, looking at what companies and stuff are found within the credits of Forza Motorsport. One pointed out on GT Planet was Chevron Heritage Limited. It's in the credits and that company makes classic prototype and racing sports cars as well as open wheel race cars as well, so low spec formula cars. Now stuff like this doesn't really mean much but it is interesting to see what we can add to the list of possible things to come in the future. It's just a possibility. Speaking about the future, obviously we have update 2 now. Update 3 will be in December. We are getting monthly updates for Forza Motorsport. I'm pretty sure that's the case, just like Forza Horizon. So we get update two this month, update three, then update four. It's going to be exactly like Forza Horizon 5. Now, I want you guys to remember that if you're still having issues with the game, I'm sure update three is going to be just as big, if not bigger, than update two. It might have another new track. It could have another 14 new cars completely free. So we have to keep remembering that. The game is just getting started. There is a lot more to come. Update 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's a lot more to come. And obviously each update will realistically make the game run more stable. So that's to be expected. Now update 3 can be expected to release, I would say, my guess, around December the 12th, December the 13th, just by looking at all of the current updates, rivals and stuff like that, they all sort of end on the fourth week of this season kind of thing, which is around December 13th. So if you still have any issues with the game, just hold on, it will be sorted eventually. I am sure they are hard at work trying their best. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, I'll see you all later.